Last week, the Huawei Game Jam 4.0 took place. Over 3,000 people joined the jam, and 1,000 unique games were submitted, including mine. It's run by Jonas Tyroller, so go check him out if you haven't already. If you don't know what a game jam is, it's basically a game making competition where game developers compete to make the best game in a set time frame, which is around 2 to 7 days. And the game revolves around a certain theme that gets announced when the jam starts. The theme for this jam was Collaborate with AI. An interesting theme for sure, but I have never actually made any real AI before. Thankfully, you didn't have to make actual smart AI, just anything that isn't human. The jam kicked off on Friday, August 12th at 8 in the morning UTC and was supposed to end on Monday, August 15th at 6 in the afternoon UTC, so you had roughly 3 days or about 82 hours to make a game. After seeing the theme, I immediately started thinking of ideas for the game. The theme was really tough, but I eventually came up with a puzzle platformer game where the player places robots before every level. These robots have different abilities which help the player with finishing the level. After setting up a Trello list with everything I wanted to make, I loaded up Unity and got to work setting up a player character. And after player movement was done, I made a short level in which I would test things out and it would also serve as the first level of the game. It would show the player how to utilize the first and second robot. Speaking of robots, I came up with two different robots I wanted the game to have. The first one would be a delivery bot that would shoot cardboard boxes vertically from his two hands. The other robot would be a sentry that shot bullets horizontally that the player could use as platforms. After I created a particle effect that would play whenever the box broke, I started drawing the robot and the box it would shoot. It turned out pretty good and I called my new robot Dave. No idea why, just felt like it. Then I started coding the shooting of boxes. And here it is in action. But it looks really bad. So let's spice it up with some animation. And there we go. It looks much better now. Not perfect, but not horrendous either. Lastly, I made Dave move horizontally and change direction whenever he hit a wall or a barrier. And here is the final result of him shooting and moving. He still needs some tweaking to the speed of everything, which I will adjust later. While Dave is really cool and all, we still need more bots, so I started working on the sentry bot, which I abruptly named Ray. And after putting her into Unity, I began working on her shooting. Unlike Dave, she's stationary, so I didn't need to code any movement, which saved me some time. And boom, here is everything working perfectly. Except you might have noticed that it looks pretty bad, so I added more animation. And it stopped looking like complete garbage. Before going to bed on the first day, I made the UI from which the player would select the end play spots. and added some icons up top that would show you the keybinds for placing bots. I started off the second day by creating a bot cap that would limit the amount of bots the player could place in each level since I didn't want them to just spam bots everywhere. Next, I made a transition between scenes and added a retry button for whenever you got stuck somewhere or if you misplaced a bot. The game was technically functional and playable at this point, except for one major issue. I didn't give the game an end goal. I felt like a simple flag or something wouldn't fit into the setting I was going for, so I drew a dope hackerman computer as the end goal of each level and coded it so that it would recognize when the player has finished the level. I wanted to start working on levels soon, so I started drawing the player character. 
He is supposed to be this garbage collector robot that got infected by some computer malware and now your goal is to get him to a computer to unhack himself. Then I broke him up into pieces and put him into Unity, where I started animating him. This proved to be quite a challenge as I have never made a proper animated character rig using the animator component in Unity. Most of my games just show the protagonist as a simple shape like a square or a circle. But with the help of a tutorial from Blackthorn Prod, thanks by the way, I managed to animate the idle, run and jump animations. And polish the jump with some smoke particles when you take off and land. I took some time off on this day because I am stupid and I rest during game jumps. So that explains why this day was so short. I wanted to begin making the levels, but I felt like two bots just wasn't enough diversity, so I created a third bot which I named Shard. Shard relies on a completely new mechanic I added into the game. Malware barriers. Malware barriers are exactly what they sound like. Barriers that expose the player if they dare touch them. Shard is able to disable these malware barriers for a short while every couple of seconds. But unlike other bots, he can only be placed once per level. Because he would be too overpowered if you could place him more than once. I could now finally start work on the levels. I drew a tile map of all the tiles that would make up the levels and some props I would place in the background. I went for a more futuristic facility style to them since all characters here are robots. Then I went off track a bit and started adding sound effects. I once again used the free sound effect generator SFXR because A. I am too lazy to make my own sound effects and B. I do not have enough time to make my own sound effects. After all of that, I ended the day by making the 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th level before going to bed. Now, the final day might look like another day too, based on the length of this chapter, but it only looks like that because I spent an entire day making levels. I originally wanted the game to have 14 levels, but had to decrease the amount to 12 because I didn't have enough time left. I tried making every level as original as possible and added a cool surprise at the final 12th level which I am not going to show on camera because duh, it's a surprise. So go play the game if you are interested in what's in the final level. After all of the levels were done, I made an icon for the game, called it Trash Trail and went to submit it to the jam. I also wanted to make an original soundtrack for the game, but I couldn't because time was running out. But then I saw something. You know how I said the jam was supposed to end at 6 in the afternoon UTC? Well, it turns out the jam got extended by an hour, so I actually did have the time to add a soundtrack. This soundtrack isn't original for this game though. I made it myself in Fruity Loops, but it's from an older game of mine and it kinda fit the theming of this game, so I just reused it here, since you are allowed to do that. Finally, after everything was done and ready, I submitted the game with 20 minutes remaining. While this jam was a bit longer than the previous jam I participated in, I still enjoyed it and the theme pushed me a lot out of my comfort zone, with making AI and learning how the animator component works. You can play the game on itch.io in the browser or download it if you're on Windows. Check out Jonas Tyroller, the person behind this jam, and if you enjoyed the video, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.